It was back in 2013 in April when I woke up one morning and I just couldn't feel my legs. So obviously getting told you had a tumour. Well, I thought I was going to die. I didn't have anywhere to live. Be a dad to my children in a wheelchair. But I just thought, well, I can stay in bed and feel sorry for myself and just lay there and have a wee, you know, and poo myself and just lay there and have someone clean me or I get up and actually do something about it. Are you up for a challenge? Would you happy to bike from London to Paris? And I was like, well, I could have a go at that. So the thought of doing nearly 400 miles in four days, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought it was going to be like an easy stint, but <laughs> that was far from easy. Getting told that you're never going to walk again, to then be able to stand up how I was for the first time in three years. I can't even put into words how that felt. Looking down and watching my foot lift up and then just put back down on the floor again. Things that I used to take for granted was mind blowing. Life for me now is about achieving as many challenges as possible and being the first person, paralysed person, to achieve it. Um, and when someone says to me, you can't do it, I'm then going to do it anyway, just to prove a point that there's no such thing as calm. Test me and don't bounce back so you better make way. Listen, listen to the soundtrack of the